pool of water. But when I say the people united with the petition of African shores genocide more than the water, because they said, sister, famous people have been here to do their pictures with us and bring in water. But when they leave, we still stuck with this situation. And you only can take water so far. But what you have gave us is hope to, for somebody to understand what is exactly happening to us. Because this is genocide. They're trying to gentrify Flint, Michigan. And so they poisoning our water. And on one side of Flint, Michigan, where the college is and where the white people live, they have clean water. But where the Africans live, we got dirty water. And even when the residents don't even own a home, they renting, they're not forcing the landlord to put the pipes in the ground. They just stuck them there. But we had to do the ground. Work. See, that's where the real work happened at. And Epitome is about putting boots on the ground. That's what it's all about. So it was so important for us to launch this campaign. So another campaign that, you know, Epitome, before me and since I've been the president for the last five years, um, is black community control of the police. This is not, you know, this is a revolutionary reform, okay? Because we saying, and if you try to change it and twist it up for white people to be able to swallow it, no surrender? I'm not trying to make white people swallow it. I want you to hear exactly what I said. I said black community control of the police. I said Pookie and Ray Ray have to have the power of the police in their community. I remember Don't Push a Street Walker have to sit on the board and say what the police should look like in our community. You heard me, and I ain't changing it up, and I ain't switching it up. That's exactly what we said. So that was so important to win our neighborhoods, our community, for everywhere black people are, wherever the class is, that don't let nobody come and tell you about no review board, because we got a review board right here in St. Louis. Right after Ferguson, they marched and protest and they used this, this momentum of Ferguson on the class and got this review board passed. But I'm here to serve you and tell you the Africans have been killed before Mike Brown, after Mike Brown, and that review board is still siding with the police. So what is a review board? Okay, so we talking about real revolution, okay, when I'm talking about any kind of reforms. Because can't nobody win me to not doing anything that is not gonna overturn this system that sits on my kids' future. So another, um, you know, uh, campaign that we launching is Keep 28. This is a great strategy. This is exactly where we met Jesse Todd. So um, Chairman had a newspaper article, because y'all know Chairman reads the newspaper. So we had a pull together and he said, do y'all know about this war reduction and the wars? I'm like, I don't even know, we, we have wars? <laughs> He's like, comrade, you know, you know, he criticized me because you've got to know that. You have to understand the terrain. Yeah. You know, and that's why the African working class have to come into political life. Because I'm in the class and I'm here telling you that I didn't know any of these things five years ago. I was Herdosha, an evangelist in my house trying to confuse, didn't understand why my brothers was murdered, why they went to jail, why my daddy was on crack. I didn't get it. I was blaming myself. But coming into political life helped me to understand strategies and tactics. Okay, y'all with me. So Chairman had brought this tactic and this strategy to the table. And we, you know, about the 28 wars. So I'm like, okay, I'm hip, I'm hip. We got 28 wars, they trying to cut them. Why they trying to do that, Chairman? So he's like, it's, you know, it's not that we care about, you know, who's in office right now. Because look at the conditions of St. Louis. We ain't short as black Negroes in office here right. at all. Right. So this is not a strategy to put some black people, just you decide to um, run for office. I'm here, I, and I don't even care if you say, so-called say, that you run on 19 points, because people say they do everything. Yeah. But we have to have a real process of somebody running that we can hold accountable, our people. Yeah. That they come to our meetings, that we sum up what they did, what right. you did, yeah. what was on the agenda, what you, how far can we check science? You know what I'm saying? Not just, oh, I'm for the community, and then you get in office and do whatever we don't know, and then we don't see no real change. We have to be able to sum it up. Y'all, right. we dying. I'm dying. I'm done playing with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm over that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't care about your nice jump shot or your cute face or how you wear your clothes. I'm talking about what are you really doing to make business be hard for them to continue to do business as usual. That's what our strategy is. It gotta be. It can't be somebody just running for office and then it just sitting there, right. just making white people feel comfortable, right. you know what I'm saying, or being quiet and knowing yeah. that this is a mess, but just don't want to shake the boat. I want you to be shaking the boat. I'm going to be saying words messed up. Let me be on the floor. Okay, I don't care if you don't understand a word that came out of my mouth, but you better know I'm talking about black power all day long. If I don't just stand there and just control the floor.
so you can't say nothing else. Okay, so, you know, 28 wards in St. Louis, we got 28 wards, and like I was saying, we met Jesse Todd, when he was just Jesse Todd, he said, he actually said to us, I, I couldn't even never see myself running for office. That's what he said when he, we first met him. And, you know, we met him, you know, talking about the 28 wards, we went to a, um, a meeting where they was having a discussion about the 28 wards, and we said, who is this man? Because he knew everything, and he had been fighting, you know, you know, with a couple of others, but really being the only person that was really fighting for this war. And he understood that, that everything, and we said, we gotta know him. So, you know, it was some people that, you know, they know who we are, and they knew who he was, and they weren't too cool about us meeting. But we made that happen. And Jesse, you know, has always been a champion for the people. And so we met Jesse and we talked to Jesse about the 28 wars and he educated us more about this terrain and what he have been doing and what needs to be done and where we at with the process. And in that process, we had a, a petition. And Jesse said that I had joined the Democrat Party because I had to understand how this machine worked, but I'm not confused about who the Democrat Party is. So we was like, okay, Jesse, we still riding with you, you know? But I don't learn not to put my faith in black people. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Like I need evidence in your, you know, how, how loyal you, you are to this game. And Jesse did that, you know, and Jesse, um, you know, united with those 19 points and he ran for office and we campaigned with Jesse and Jesse is now the alderman in the 18 ward. Can you stand up Jesse? And you know, Jesse's still here. <laughs> Jesse didn't get in office and stop coming to the Huru house. Jesse's still standing. But Jesse alone can't put the pressure on that floor like we need. So what we, what we, so it's a bill. See, some all the people, they said it to us. Not that I think this, I, even though I knew this before he opened his mouth and said it, but this is literally his words. That I am not knocking doors. Only thing that I'm gonna do is, you know, write bills. So this is a people's campaign. We're not just gonna sit back and just hope that you know, 15 all the people sign on to this bill when we understand that they're trying to gentrify St. Louis City. But more importantly, because we don't care, you know, if we got 28 wars, just 28 wars is not gonna solve it. But we have to make a social movement because I said this is a revolutionary reform. Yes. So our strategy is to take this to the people, to take this to the street, and have them to sign this petition because two things happen. We educate them on what's happening, and then we bring them into political life, and then we say we have to run on 19 points. That we have to have somebody that's running in our community that we can see, touch, and hold accountable. Yes. Okay? And so this is a, a strategy to bring a social movement about so the African working class can come into political life and then, you know what they happen? Is they get confidence in themselves. Because one thing that is stolen from the African working class, people just keep doing stuff to us and for us. And we have to understand what self-determination is. And so that's what this reform does. It brings about a change in the psyche of the mind of the people that have been beat down and told that they can't do anything. So that's what we have to do. So, you know, I did want to mention my brothers and sisters in South Africa, as you know, um, EPDM is an international organization. We know that we could not just have campaigns only in the United States, that this is an international fight, that African people are catching hell all over the globe. So we have South Africa that is amazing. They are doing way, they have way less access to anything that we have. But we have five, is it regents or? Provinces. Provinces in South Africa right now, where we have over 60 members of EPDOM in South Africa, you know? And so they are building, they are bringing Af the African working class, and they, I love them because they can't stand the petty bourgeoisie. They can smell it, and they can't stand it, and they calling that stuff out. Because I'm telling you, the petty bourgeoisie, I don't know if they, I mean, I know that when they hear people as myself and chairman and the African working class, they, it's a mirror that they don't even want to see themselves. And I want to be a mirror for you to see your nasty self. You know what I'm saying? And what you are doing. Because no surrender. No surrender. And if you're compromising, you are nasty. At least. It's just, it's just, I can't, I don't even get it. You know what I'm saying? You obviously don't live where I live. You know, I live amongst the people. I eat with the people. 
I see the conditions of my people and simply just fighting for some reform, you know, is not going to change their conditions. Mm. That is, I don't even know how you sleep at night. Wow. Um, and so I, I just wanted to, you know, also mention, you know, South Africa and Keep 28 is not only for St. Louis, but gentrification is happening all over the globe. And so not only do the paid people in St. Louis get to participate in this, the, the international world get to watch what we're doing here and understand this is a blueprint of how you fight back for gentrification. Because gentrification is not some cute thing and they, our neighborhood get diverse. This is death. Yeah. Right. People will die. Yeah. They have nowhere else to go. Yeah. So we can't allow that to happen. And um, I did want to mention and shout out our, um, our convention. The struggle is real. This is genocide. The demand is reparations. This is not just an event. I'm tired of just going to events. If you just want to go to an event, don't come to the convention because I want to mobilize you to go back to your area and do something. That's what this is about. We should be at this point now in, you know, in the struggle that we are ready for real concrete work, lose sleep, we are sleeping when we get free, that's what Akile said. And I'm holding on to that. <laughs> you know, and so at this convention, we're gonna be talking about panels around reparations. Uh, we're gonna have panels, uh, not only panels, but then we have a working group. Every, every discussion that we have, every panel that we have, then we go into a working group. So the African working class will be able to lead this um, discussion and actually be informed on how to put boots on the ground, how to go into your community and turn our community into revolutionaries. That's our responsibility. So the convention is September the 13th through the 15th, right here in St. Louis, where um, in Chairman's political report, it charged the PDOM to have offices that we couldn't just be okay with, and in which I was, y'all, with just having a Quavo Hall, which is great, and the Black Power Blueprint had did so much amazing work, but it has been a blueprint to show us how important it is for the African working class to be able to have a space of its own. And so wherever EPDM is, in South Africa, wherever we are, we want places where people can actually walk into, tell us about their complaints, where they can shoot pool, where we have political um, education, where they can buy, touch, and feel black power, literally. Buy Uzi, buy the Colonnades, buy the Huru Pies, um, and to have um, a real place where we can have our own. And so I'm so excited to say that we have led the charge here in St. Louis where at the convention, we'll be having a tour where you can be able to see and walk into our first um, EPDM office right here in St. Louis. So that will be happening at the convention as well. I think that's my time. You know, I just really want to appreciate this coalition because my first role, you know, into you know political life was five years ago when Mike Brown died um, on the streets. And when I seen my community go up and I seen the resistance and I seen my nieces and my nephews and my community out there fighting. And what the news never talk about how the crime went completely down when the rebellion, because we knew we had one enemy. One enemy, so when you talk about so-called black-on-black violence, the solution is revolution. The solution is revolution. And by no means, by no means necessary, don't get it twisted. If you want to stop the crime in our community, then you have to grab hold to what real revolution is and don't sell out for nobody. I don't care who don't stand with you no more. I'll be standing on the right side of the question until we are redeemed, free people, Uhuru.